It doesn't even phase me anymore, Robin. Mmm. So you have John 1, 1 John 3.15, and then, then you have 1 John uh, 3.16 and 1 John 3.15. So in this story here, what I'm understanding is is uh, Jacob gave Esau some bread and um, this Esau or, or Jacob was making the soup. Break. Eat some soup. It's freezing here in San Antonio. The, crowd. the first one was very red at birth and covered with thick hair like a fur coat, so they named him Esau. Then the other twin was born with his hand grasping Esau's heel, so they named him Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when the twins were born. As the boys grew up, Esau became a skillful hunter. More like gang stalking commander man imagine that yeah second highest ranking officer in the Johnstown Police Department has been arrested for stalking who is the current gang stalking boss in Canada Bill Blair is the current gang stalking boss in, uh, in Canada well, let's see, who is, who is the current gang stalking leader in America? Who is involved in gang stalking martial law? That's not the question I asked. Nearly 100% of gang stalking involves current and retired police, military, intelligence and security personnel personnel violating the law in my own case i trace and track many of my uh, persons over there john b lopes is president and chief investigator of the agency uh, oh look at that it shows uh, joe biden there images I didn't type in Joe Biden. I typed in who is the current gang stalking leader in America. Maybe leader in America. We're going to outlaw organized gang stalking. Organized gang stalking can involve a group in the hundreds to thousands harassing a single person. Hundreds to thousands of people literally gang stalk me. I'm a single person. I see it all day long. I even see it in my own home. It's amazing. Right across the street, as soon as you step out your house or even your bedroom door, the victim is stalked, masked by car, foot, bike, air, and order. Uh, you need to stop your little gang stalking, Steve, because it's time for the hunters to be hunted. Petition. Here's my petition to outlaw gang stalking. Organized gang stalking is a form of terrorism used against an individual in a malicious attempt to reduce the quality of a person's life so they will have a nervous breakdown. I remember 
<coughs> I remember that. We're waiting for that meltdown video. Here's your meltdown video. The nervous breakdown become incarcerated, institutionalized, experience constant mental, emotional, or physical pain, become homeless, and or commit suicide. This is done using well-orchestrated accusations, lies, rumors, bogus investigations. You know, it kind of reminds me of, if you look up my name in Gematria, it's 914. Pyramid, Sun, Las Vegas, Weed, Stop the Nine, It Gets Caught a Lesson, Miller, Secret, Bound, Blood, Image, you know, Hamalak, Shamalak, Noted Hypocrite, Filthy Dream, Fallen Angel, Alien Being, Teaching the Seducing People, Run the Play, Head Under Demonic Mind Control, Convicted, Robin Hood, False Enlightenment, Adder's Playman, Has a Mouth Full of Lies, At Forbidden Christ is Robin's Game, but if you go and look at my, uh, if you go and look at Esau, you'll see Stephen James, I mean, uh, 1867, Stephen James to Sean, the man that holds the key of David. Oh, yeah. Does it look like this? Stephen J. to Sean's Adam. American Davidic bloodline taking back God's kingdom on earth. Yeah, well, you better take it the freak back. Mighty work complete. Adam Ben David, Prince of Judah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right, right, right. Spiritually targeted individual. So anyway, back to this. This is done using the uh, it's a thefts. Intimidation, set up, framings, bogus investigations, accusations, lies. And I said, yeah, I know. And I said, well, let him bake up new lies. It doesn't matter. While he's baking up new lies, I'm going to bake up a loaf of sourdough bread. He was an outdoorsman, but Jacob had a quiet temperament, preferring to stay at home. Isaac loved Esau because he enjoyed eating the wild game Esau brought home, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Genesis chapter 25, verses 29 through 34 from the New King James Version. Now Jacob cooked a stew, and Esau came in from the field, and he was weary. And Esau said to Jacob, Please feed me with that same red stew, for I am weary. Uh, the rows are just totally iced up. I'm going to eat a little soup, and then I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to try and put together some more stuff for you guys. Um, His name was called Edom. But Jacob said, sell me your birthright as of this day. And Esau said, look, I'm about to die, so what's this birthright to me? Then Jacob said, swear to me as of this day. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate. Because, see, it doesn't even faze me anymore, Robin. Mm. Man, that is really good. You know. Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank and arose and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. When he was starving, the aroma became overwhelming, and he saw everything in exaggerated terms. Uh, I am Yeshua, the Messiah, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the undeniable proof of Gematria's accuracy. The root of David has been hidden from the people. Davidic bloodline taking back of God's kingdom on, on the earth. I am the the, the I am that I am. The son, Adam, David, revealed. Christ reborn, Riverside Hospital. Christ, the Lamb of God, is gathering together the sons of light. I am dealt a deadly blow to the cabal. Well, you mean you are dead. I mean, you are dealt a deadly blow. Like the beast that 
I know I fluctuate back and forth between who who I believe is playing the beast, the Antichrist and false prophet. But Steve did come along my way first. He did receive a deadly blow from me specifically, directly, by exposing the entire uh, setup that was going on with uh, this book here and the fraudulency inside of it. And then also how you can just type in whatever, 666, I, Robin Henry T's discovered Stephen James, Sean, be a false Christ, 666. But also towards the end here, because we're towards the end, the communication between the numbers of certain typed in numbers and then what word matches along with what you're talking about, uh, expose that as well. So, Steve has a deadly blow, like the beast does, and then the the false prophet would be the other brother, the one that stole his birthright, or the one that he gave his birthright, he sold his birthright, but he tricked him into his father telling something or another. And so then you would have the beast and then you would have the false prophet. The thing, and I need to pray about this. It's just, it happened today. So the Lord kind of put. And when I say that, they all know as much as I'm saying it, that I'm saying it according to the script that I believe has been written with the 12 brothers, cousins, whoever they are. And and it's already been, everybody has their position already, so that's what they're playing out. So that would be the beast and the false prophet. And then the Antichrist would be the uh, the, the one that's in, pl in place of Christ. So to me, that would mean you got three people. You got, you got, uh, You get the woman with the 12 stars, but you also have, you had, that you had uh, Moses and he, he sent out his two witnesses. So it's similar to that. You have your two witnesses, but they have to actually witness towards the, the truth. They have to, they have to have struggled with God, in other words. And then, so when you go, with all Steve and Stephen James and Sean's, everything written here so far is lovely. It's it's uh it's like candy and lollipops. But over here with my name, uh, a, a turd goblin, a horn, speaking great blasphemies. Well, yeah, against the God of the of the uh, the world there. Facil facilitate reckless endangerment. Robin H. T's is full of lies. The fallen angel, Satan, unclean bird. Steve's endure demon possessed wife. Well, I endure demon possessed people in general. Uh, Christ, the Lamb of God, is gathering together the sons of light. I am L. Yeshua, the son of Adam and David. Sinaya uh, Lamb, February 1819 Uh Yeah, okay, so that's Steve's birthday, February, February 18th. February 18th is your birthday. Oh, wow, so... Everybody's getting together on the 18th with Jonathan Kleck, your brother, uh, John 316. Wrath of God, the Lord of hosts, go over to me, fallen angel, angel, Satan, unclean bird, Robin, Henry T is full of lies. There's a definite correlation. I am under demonic mafia, DIA control, broadcast, contradiction of Bible, canon repaid for disgraceful deeds. Go back to Steve, host of God, the Lord of hosts. Messiah lives in the United States, FBI, we know. 
purify my heart, mind, and soul, Robin. I mean, uh, the, the lamb of victory, uh, a victim of internet character def defamation. Well, let's, that fits over here with me. A vetted NPS reprobate mind under London ground, under underground the circus clown. This is true. He is a liar. Go back to Steve. Applied mathematics of Jesus Christ, Christ the Redeemer becomes King David manifest. Oh, thanks for telling me that. Dragon Slayer, destroyer of demons. Go back to Robin Hood over here. Aiden the bed and propagate slander of Adam. Hall of shame propagating, propagating lies, sudden bad calamity. Go back to Stephen James and Sean. Up, up and away. Angels in human form until the day of the Lord. Not one negative thing written about 1867. Michigan House of Judah, right-handed uh, manifestation. Bible truth tr <laughs> to the life of the way. Oh, my God. Go back to Robin T's. Demonic doublespeak before men. Whatever. A dead thief tried to flee from the policeman. Defense intelligence agency debacle. Let's go back to Stephen James to Sean. Angelic scepter of Judah belongs to Shiloh. Me selling fishing boats in Linwood, Michigan. Manifestation of the Christ keeper of the keys and kings. Let's go back to Robin. Demonic party. Defiled ball headed usurper of Adam. Evil son. I think that's the only true thing here on my uh, on my list. Cast out for falsehood. Back to Stephen James to Sean. The restrainer is King David. That you know, I am uh, Alpha and Omega. Sharon Allen sees the hidden name of Adam, the Lord Yeshua. I am the chosen Son of Man. Uh, the and the root of David. Robin Henry T's starship launch. Sight cast out for falsehood. Mark of the beast? Yeah, probably. Numbered beast of Abaddon identified. Exploiter Richie for leads. Teaches the Harold Camping deception. Back to Stephen James to Sean. The father host of the spirit of Elijah. He is the rightful heir of the old oak island gold treasure. Maybe so. And if that's true... Well, I mean, when is that going to happen? Because I know that you're breaking down over here. Because for you to gang stalk me all these years, I deserve it. And not the gang stalking, the reward. Uh, a high, high priest house, unmovable. The little boy that Santa Claus forgot. No, poor Steve. He revealed Greta T. Uh, Thunberg, deception, CIA. Adam King David awakens. Well, that's true. I am from Marco, uh, macro to micro. Believe it or not, I don't care if you believe it or not. Murdered by government. Well, that didn't happen. The gospel of Yeshua, Redeemer, Lord of hosts. Who is Ha Ben David Adam? A, -A Adam David. Ancient of days, who is God? What is heaven? And this is the only slightly negative thing written in SJD's entire list of what he what you know what he got written down here. Raise Christ, Lord, origin of light. Pray. I have I seen that no, name in there a lot, Ray, like towards you, and then Austin towards uh, your brother, Cleck in Texas with Austin, Texas, and Austin, the wrestler is your is your good buddy too, Steve, Steve Stone Cold, Stone like Rock, Cold Austin. put it to me because we are all a new creation in Christ that's why we're getting together Be and you're getting together on Stephen James to Sean's birthday February 18th ain't that right Steve you're like a dog 
that returns to his own vomit. Yeah. Well, again, like I said, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Considering calling yourself vomit because I keep returning to your channel. Yeah, hide. That's all you do is hide. You hide your comments. You always delete and stuff. It's like you're scared. What was the point of having a birthright when he was starving? However, the consequences of that quick and impulsive decision were irreversible. Esau also took a wife that displeased both his father and his mother. Endured demon-possessed wife. Esau was a skeptic who didn't take anything seriously. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy my bread. Make some more entertainment for us, please. I love it. I love it. Does After these things, I heard something like a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belong to our God. Because his judgments are true and righteous, for he has judged the great harlot who was corrupting the earth. You know, with, with uh, gang stalking and all that too. And he has judged the great harlot who was corrupting the earth with her immorality. And he has avenged the blood of his servants, bond servants, on her. And again, uh, a second time, they said, Hallelujah. Her smoke rises up forever and ever. And 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God who sits on the throne saying, Amen. Hallelujah. And a voice came from the throne saying, Give praise to our God, all of you his bond servants, you who fear him, both small and great, and the marriage of the Lamb. Then I heard something like the voice of a great multitude and, a, and like the sound of many waters, like the sound of mighty peals and thunders, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give the glory to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. It was given to her to clothe him, clothe him uh, herself in fine linen, bright and clean, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then he said to me, Right blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb, and he said to me, these are true words of God. Then, <clears throat> then I fell at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours and your brethren who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The rider on the white horse. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on it called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he judges and wages war. His eyes are a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, many crowns. And he has a name written on him, which no one knows except himself. So only he knows. He is clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which are in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, were following him on white horses. I mean, you can look at that, following him. Uh, I mean, they say, they did say follow Christ, right? So how I understand the sick and twisted, demented way of twisting scripture would would be part of that following. My mother was a targeted individual for over 20 years. I have a feeling I was a targeted individual for at least exactly 20 years, like the past 20 years, exactly from what I've learned in my lifetime. 
on white horses. But because we're talking about the end here, where everybody's converted, from his mouth comes a sharp sword, so that with it he may strike down the nations. Think about that. If somebody had words that came out of their mouth, and it can literally strike down the nations, then he will rule them with a rod of iron, and he treads the winepress of the fierce wrath of God the Almighty. And on his robe, and on his robe, and on his thigh, he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. No, no, wait. There, there it is. There, there it is right there. It's proof, right? I mean, Gematria says it, so it, you know it has to be true. Stephen, James, and Sean, in other words, Yeshua and the Messiah, King, Kings, Lord, Lords. I mean, you may be in the, in the script world, but the real, actual spiritual world, not so much. But there is a parallel, parallel, uh, parallel, parallels. There's the one L and then there's the spiritual L. There's a pair of them. And so here's the defeat. Yeah, so this would be the defeat of Baking up new lies, I'm going to bake up a loaf of sourdough bread. <laughs> because, see, it doesn't even phase me anymore, Robin. What, that you've been defeated as the beast? Because I did defeat you first. I do remember doing it. I defeated you at the beginning. So you were my first victim. And I was also the login for me being stalked by Google Maps every day started at the very beginning of February uh, 2018, which your birthday's in February. And considering I started YouTube April 2nd, 2017, and then for nine months, nine, ten months, then all of a sudden I'm I'm being surveilled every day. It makes more sense that I was put on the radar to be severely gang stalked and harassed at the beginning of the year 2018. So the beast was defeated. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried out with a loud voice, saying to all the birds which fly in mid heaven, come assemble for the great supper of God so that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of commanders and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of those who sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free slaves and great and small great beast. I mean, uh, small and great. And I saw the beast. You know what? You had it right the first time. I did, didn't I? That's crazy. Well, just like you said. You're like a dog that returns to his own vomit. I did. And I saw the beast and the and the the kings of the earth. And their armies assembled to make war against him who sat on a horse and against his army. So I, I saw the beast and the kings of the earth. And I need to pray about this. It's just, it happened today. So the Lord kind of. Where did it go? If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time you dash your foot against the stone. Actually, we really should back. Yeah, I did have it marked too. To verse 5. <coughs> 
because it sets the precedent of where Jesus actually is. And their armies assembled to make war against him. So the, the writer of this is saying that he saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies assembled to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was seized. And I almost feel sorry for you. Almost. I rebuke you. Robin, Henry, Tease. I rebuke you. And with him, the false prophet that who performed the signs in his presence. To put it to me, because we are all a new creation in Christ, that's why we're By which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two, these two, Stephen James and Sean and Jonathan Fargo Click, were thrown alive into the lake of fire, which burns at brimstone. As you can see, they're still alive, both of them. So here's proof right here that people don't actually die. And the fact that it's true, and these are the two, you know, if this if this is the case, which I'm 99% sure now, maybe even 100%, that the two that are playing this out, would be the brothers, it would be Jacob, it would be Esau, and uh, and they would be, you know, kind of being like the same type of person, but one of them uh, lives in Texas, the other one in Michigan. And so I threw them alive into the, the burning lake of fire that proceeded out of my mouth that, that burnt them and continually just kept getting gang stalked, severely gang stalked because of it. And so the rest were killed, which is the, the rest of everybody that tried to come against me. They were killed with the sword, which came from the mouth of him who sat on the horse. And all the birds were filled with their flesh. It just reminds like this this Bible, the book, Revelation, reminds me of my actual experience with those who I've come across. And it's not like they don't know who I am because literally the beast over here in the Bible, the overdue champion, Stephen James and Sean, is rebuking me, which is Robin Henry Tease. And that's why he's saying, that's why he wrote this entire thing, forbidden Christ is Robin's game. Robin H. T's is full of lies. So you have not denied my name, Steve, have you? A loaf of sun. Bake up new lies. It doesn't matter. While he's baking up new lies, I'm going to bake up a loaf <clears throat> of sourdough bread. <laughs> oh, that your brother Jacob gave me. I was at soup, by the way. It doesn't even phase me anymore, Robin. And then, because you have the beast and the false prophet who are thrown alive, both of them. So in my world, I felt like I threw two people alive in a burning lake of fire with the words that proceeded out of my mouth. And I stayed up on YouTube taking the abuse and taking the constant organized stalking from both of you. So we've already seen that the beast was seized. We've seen that. We've, we've all witnessed that in the past four years with SJD. And then with him, the false prophet said, and we also have, you got the, you got the beast, that recognize Robin, Henry, T. 
Tease. All right, so my name is comes out of his mouth there. Then, then with him, the false prophet. So you got the false prophet. Sorry, Robin Hood and all you shows. You guys are in some deep, 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 deep trouble. By the way, Robin Nerd. Yeah. Anyway. So what was that, Satan? You, you were asking to bear my head to show you the pathway to get to your beast and false prophet. because it sets the precedent of where Jesus actually is. The devil taketh him up in the, uh, into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple. It's literally the very highest point he could get to. And said unto him, If you be the Son of God, cast yourself down, for it's written, he shall give his angels charge concerning you, and if and and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest at any time you would dash your foot against a stone. I believe that's over in the book of Psalms, if I remember right. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. And again the devil took him up into an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All things will I give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said unto him, Get you hence, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall you serve. Now just remember, I am you. Just remember, I am you. Cheers to victory. Unraveling the world script and Bible prophecy. Now we read in the Greek, if you bow down to me. But in the Hebrew, it's not so much that he was telling him to bow, but to reveal how he got here. I cannot help but wonder if Satan didn't know, well he, well, he definitely knew that this was the place where the angels ascend and descend. Yeah, absolutely. You too. King Herod's temple, the one that he built, the leader, the ruler. I would, I would look at that as Abraham, the very first. But Jesus came in a way that wasn't through that. Sulam. He wasn't coming through the ladder that everybody else thought about. Sulam. He came a different way. And that drove that devil crazy. But if you really are spiritually minded, I think you'll pick all this up yourself. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So the beast was seized and with him the false prophet who performed the signs in his presence, which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were thrown in al alive into the lake of fire, which burns with brimstone. Then I saw another angel coming down from heaven, holding the key of the abyss and a great chain in his hand, and he laid hold of the dragon, the serpent of old. Who is the who? Who is the devil? H W O and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, complete a, a complete amount of time, and he threw him into the abyss, and and shut it, just shut it, and seal it over him, so that he would not deceive the nations any longer until a thousand years were completed. 
the complete amount of time, the thousand years, until it's completed. So, hold on. <clears throat> he laid hold of the dragon, the serpent, the devil, Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. All right, so for a thousand years he was bound. The number thousand in the Bible means complete. And he threw him into the abyss and shut it and sealed it over him so that he would, he would not deceive the nations any longer until the thousand years were completed. Thousand years. Completed. So he laid hold of the dragon, the old serpent, the devil, and bound him for a thousand years. A thousand years. Completed. After these things, he must be released from his prison to be free. Satan's free. For a short time. Then I saw thrones and they sat on them. They sat on them and judgment was given to them and I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received the mark on their forehead and on their right hand, on their hand. <clears throat> and they came to life and reign with Christ for a thousand years. So they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years, that complete amount of time. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. So we're coming up on the completion of that thousand year period. This is the first resurrection. The rest of the dead, the walking dead, the, the other trained reviewers, because it truly is really it's only the only people that are going to understand what's happening here in the Bible are people on the YouTube platform specifically in this area if you know like if you know SJD you know uh, Jonathan Click by the way Robin you're anybody at Jonathan Click may know will be the ones that know and then the rest Christ comes as a thief in the night and he'll never know while it all it's all taking place now the rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed this is the first resurrection so the, <clears throat> the thousand years that are going to be completed the rest of the dead will not come to life until until that time frame is completed. A thousand years completed. After these things, as soon as that takes place, these things, he must be released for a short time. Blessed and holy is the one. So the one that could be, is that singular or plural? The one who has part in the first resurrection. Over these, the second death has no power. If you look at that as Christ having, being one who has part in the first resurrection, the second death has no power. So, oh, death, where's your sting? But also as one, like these are the, the one, the one, these are the one that are going to destroy the whole system. These are the one. These are the one that would be plural. And but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. For a complete amount of time. Now Satan cast into the lake of fire. First you got the beast and the false prophet. Then you got Satan, the one who is considered Satan in this system. When the thousand years are completed, Satan will be released from his prison. So I feel like when Satan is released from his prison, he will be free from his prison. 
and will come out to deceive all those people that, well, let's say everybody that decided to be into this organization and take, uh, you know, take people's lives away from them by what the canker worm has taken and it needs to be restored. That way, when me and my wife want to live where we live, we're off of the list. However long it takes for this to go away completely, because it truly, really, if you think about it, <clears throat> it, 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 it has been more and more within the past 20 years or so since cell phones came out because all, all of you robots, you have your your uh, AI device that tells you what to do. It gives you an alert to do a certain stupid thing when, when I walk by you. And so I'm controlling you to do a certain thing because you've agreed to become part of Satan's nation. And because Satan is released from his prison, well, that's when he's going to go out and deceive all the nations, everybody who thinks Satan is still Satan and not, not Christ in disguise, which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for war. The number of them is like the sand of the seashore. So you got Gog and you got Magog. And <clears throat> they come up on the broad plain, like broad street. Gog, I believe that's Inky. Doesn't that line up with Inky and one and Magog? And they come up on the broad plain of the earth and surround the camp of the saints. Didn't Steve, wasn't his name the camp of the saints at one time? And the beloved city, and fire came down from heaven and devoured them. And the devil, who deceived them, was thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are also. This is one of the most fascinating scriptures I have ever seen in my life. First time. And... It just reveals a lot. I almost feel sorry. Sorry, Robin, I'm all your shows. You guys are into deep, deep, deep. I repair you. By the way, Robin, yeah. Anyway. And they will be tormented day and night, forever and ever, until this system is over. Because forever and ever is. When this script is done, they're going to be tormented. They're going to be thrown alive into the lake of fire. They're going to be thrown alive. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire. Deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur. The beast and the false prophet are also... And they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. So this is the final judgment. So here we are. Right here. Then I saw a great white throne in him who sat upon it, from whose presence the earth and, and heaven fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and books were open. And another book was open. But this book, this book was open too, but obviously it's, it's not saying truthful things because this is just straight slander. But I saw another book was open, which is the book of life. So this is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the book according to their deeds. And the sea gave up the dead which are in it. And death and Hades gave up the 
dead which were in them, and they were judged, everyone according, every one of them according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. So if you take part in the first resurrection, the lake of fire getting burnt by the word of God, it won't take place over you because you've already been resurrected in the beginning. So death and AIDS were thrown into the lake of fire, just the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Then I saw a new heaven, a new earth. For the first heaven, the first earth have passed away, and there is no longer any sea. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, made ready as a bride, a bride adorned for her husband. So if you look at this as twisting the words and trying to use what I've shown as Look, it's the holy city. Uh, it's being shown from the heavens. Well, yeah, this is a literal holy city. With a landscape to back it up. But this is Sodom and Gomorrah. Or one or the other. Sodom and Gomorrah. And I heard a loud, yeah, so, yeah, because even there's even a uh, the new holy city come down from heaven, from God, made ready as a bride adorned for her husband, and back in this area over here, which is the wedding partakers, this whole section right here has a it has something built on there now. Maybe you can see it. <clears throat> It has like a canopy over it. While I was there, I showed you what it was. But either way, you went, even when they didn't, they have weddings here now. So you got that going on. With the holy city. Because, but this is what Daniel was talking about. With the abomination, desolation, standing in the holy place in one aspect. But in your mind, when it's standing in the holy place, you need to flee to the mountains. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is among men, and he will dwell among them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be among them. And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will no longer be any death, because he desires mercy and not sacrifice. And you have to prove what that is in order for the death to stop. There will no longer be any mourning or crying or pain or gang stalking. The first things have passed away. And he who sits on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Getting rid of gang stalking is definitely going to be a new thing. Let's go back to where gang stalking didn't exist. And he said, right for these words are faithful and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give to the one who thirsts from the spring of the waters of life without cost. without cost, freely, without any payment. Like you didn't even have to pay for it in order to receive it. And then once you receive it and it's sunken in and you have plenty, then you start giving because of it. But you got to put the work in first for free in order to receive. So he who overcomes...
will inherit these things. And I will be his God, and he will be my people. I mean, uh, he will be my son. But for the cowardly and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and Im immoral persons and sort I, I mean, there's a laundry list of people on YouTube that I can go through, but I'll be here all night. Sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, all of them, their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. New Jerusalem. New Covenant. The one, then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the all of the, the seven last plagues came and spoke with me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. So Christ was taken also to a high mountain by Satan and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. So if you're looking at it like, hey, look, there's this YouTube channel that keeps showing us the holy city from heaven. And, um, but it's in the spirit. <laughs> Having the glory of God, her brilliance was like a very costly stone and a stone of crystal clear jasper. It had a great and high wall with 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and names were written on them which are the names of the 12 tribes of the sons of Israel. 12 tribes of the sons of Israel. So Israel, the son, 12 sons. There were the three gates over there and over there in the west, and east, south, and the wall of the city had 12 fountains, uh, 12 foundation stones. 12 foundation stones. You know, the art museum has a bunch of stones around it. Not sure. Because everything's going on right here. Uh, I don't know, it just has a bunch of stones around it. And on them were the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. 12 of them. The one who spoke with me had a gold measuring rod to measure the city and its gates and its wall. The city is laid out as a square and its length is as great as the width. And he measured the city with the rod 1,500 miles. Its length and width and height. All that and all the it's gold and clear, and the fountain stones of the city <clears throat> were adorned with every kind of precious stone, and it goes over all the names that I'll never remember. So there's no point in reading it. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each one of the gates were a single pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. So I believe even up in the third heaven up there, that's. The streets are literally like that, right? Because the ones that came from up there and then the ones that are down underneath of us, they can look at earth as heaven when they get up here because it can be heaven if, if you, uh, if the economy is friendly with you on your side and you can do what you want, then yeah, that's like heaven. But right now it's complete hell. I saw no temple in it for the Lord God. The Almighty, for the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb are its temple. And the city 
has no need of the sun or the moon to shine on it. And just like above us, because the sun and the moon and everything was created for this earth here, for us here and up there, there, there's no, I can't imagine there being anything but light. It's just lit up. And I'm sure the weather's perfect. I'm sure it doesn't snow up there. I'm sure it doesn't rain. I'm sure the temperature doesn't change. I'm sure animals don't die. I'm sure people don't freeze to death like they do out here. I'm sure it's just way different. So heaven needs to come down to earth. The nations will walk by its light. And the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Back in those days. Uh, and he identifies the word seed as singular versus that of plural. In a daytime, for there will be no light there. Its gates will never be closed. And they will bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. Nothing unclean and no one who practices abomination and, and lying shall ever come into it, but only those whose names are written in the book, the Lamb's Book of Life, the Lamb's Book of Life. That's just a, like a, ver like a verbal book. The River of Life. Then, <clears throat> he showed me a river of the water of life, Clear as crystal, coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb. And if you want to take it literally, it resembles something along the lines of, of water. something sprouting up out of nowhere. Well, that just turned on now, obviously. But... In, in spiritual realm, you're being shown the truth, the words of life. It's as clear as crystal. It's crystal clear. From the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its in the middle of its street, on either side of the river was the tree of life bearing 12 kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. In the middle of the street on either side of the river, you know, on either side of the river, was the tree of life. You know what? I had this wrong. I said before, 12 trees. It's not 12 trees. It's one tree bearing 12 kinds of fruit, 12 different types of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There will no longer be any curse. Gang stalking. It's the biggest curse on planet Earth. It's just, it's such a, it's just such a, a played out thing that needs to go very soon. There will be no longer any curse in the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it and his bond servants will serve him. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. So in other words, it's something like I rebuke you, Robin, Henry, Tease. I rebuke you. Sorry, Robin, I did all your shows. You guys are in some deep, 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 deep trouble. By the way, Robin, nerd. Nerd. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love you, Robin. I'm, just, I'm an actor, right? We're wrestlers, me and Steve. It doesn't even phase me anymore, Robin. But you were always on my mind 
You were always on my mind. Thumbs up. It will come to pass. My words confirm it. My help is on the way. January 3rd, 2019, three years ago. See, what Robin doesn't understand is that by using those things that are posted on there, the things that are not true about me, he's endangering my life. Okay, because there's a lot of fruitcakes out in the world today. And think if this person were to <laughs> kill a family member that I love, if this person were to kill a family member that I love, there's a lot of them, you know? And. Yeah, I mean, what are you implying, Robin? Because you he was talking about fruitcakes, and then you showed Tyler. Are you implying something? Anybody that would want to think or he would prompt somebody to commit something. It actually looks like that tree that was chopped down too at Logan Square, the 12th tree. Anyway, there will no longer be any curse in the throne of God and the Lamb will be in it and his bond servants will serve him. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will no longer be any night and they will not have need of the light of a lamp nor the light of the sun because the Lord God will illuminate them and they will reign forever and ever. Jesus is coming. And he said to me, these words are faithful and true and the Lord, the God of the spirits of the, the, the God of, the, hold on, let me try it again. And he said to me, these words are faithful and true. And the Lord the God of the spirits of the prophets, the God of the spirits of the prophets, sent his angel to show to his bond servants the things which must soon take place. Sent his angel to show his bond servants. Now, did he send his angel? To show his bond servant, like his angel has bond servants that he needed to show to them. Like God of the spirits of the prophets sent his angel to show to his bond servants, meaning God's bond servants, the things which must soon take place. And behold, I am coming quickly, blessed to see who heeds the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed me these things. But he said to me, do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours. Like, I am a fellow servant of yours is what the angel said and of your brethren and the prophets and of those who are gang stalked and surveilled and, and to those who heed the words of this book worship god so that's been the message message all along stop worshiping men worship god my father told me the father in heaven he said robin Tell these son of bitches it's time to get rid of the gang stalking corporation once and for all. It's over, Johnny. That's what he told me. That's what the Lord told me. He said, it's time to tell them to get rid of it now. Take you off the list, number one, first and foremost. And he said to me, do not seal up the words of prophecies of this book. Don't... Don't even, you don't even have to talk in code anymore, Rob. Just be direct with these people because there ain't shit that anybody can do because it's all mental. All this fear pushing, porn pushing, fear, nothing, none of it. There's nothing they can do. So 
don't seal up the words of the prophecy of this book for the time is near. So that, I mean, that's what God told me anyway. But he's also telling um, John, who's the one that's writing these things. He said to me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book for the time is near. Let the one who does wrong still do wrong. And the one who is filthy, still be filthy. And let the one who is righteous still practice righteousness. And the one who is holy, still keep him self holy. Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done. I am the Alpha, I am the the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, for that they may have the right to the tree of life, the legitimate tree of life, the life. Not not this over here. This has to go too. Mm. Which by which I think he means in the in uh, the weekly gathering. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I guess I'm disagreeing with your friend. Okay. Well, no, no. <laughs> so it doesn't matter because the perversion of the as you're teaching this the biblical information, the perverted mindset between that's in your brain and in his brain has to go. So blessed are those who wash their robes. You can be whatever it is you want to be. Just get rid of the perversion of the word itself. You're recording with the mindset of you're basically like having sex with each other. And it's just it's just sickening to me. So that they make because you can learn a lot from it, but you know where it's going. So that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter by the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the immoral persons and the murderers and the idolaters and the everyone who loves practicing lying. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star, the spirit and the bride say, come and let the one who hears it. And the one who is thirsty and the one who wishes to take water of life without cost. Nothing may be added. I testify to everyone who hears the words of this prophecy of the book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to them the plagues which are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book, this prophecy, God will take away his part from the tree of life. Take away his part from the tree of life. And from the holy city, which are written in this book. He who testifies to these things says, yes, I am coming quickly. Amen. Amen.